Hello everyone, welcome to yet another Scratch tutorial. Today we're going to be making Subway Surfers. First, set the size to something smaller. Let's set it to 50. I think that's good. Now we're going to be needing a ground. Let's go to choose a sprite and let's click on paint. Now let's select the rectangle tool and let's choose a color for our ground. I'm going to make sure there's no outline. You can have it if you want. Um, let's try a concrete. That's probably gray, grayish blue. Okay, let's draw a rectangle on the bottom of the screen. Um, I think that's good. Okay, let's rename the costume to ground and we need to also rename the sprite to ground. Let's go back to our code, and the first thing we need to do is center our ground on the screen. Let's go to events, when green flag clicked, go to zero and zero. So when we click that, that'll make sure our ground goes to the center, which is on the bottom. Alright, now let's also position our cat. Let's go back to sprite one, and let's rename this to player. And let's also, we need a when green flag clicked go to x minus 100 and y minus 50. So when we click on that, our cat should go right to this position. And we're going to be adding gravity later on so he falls onto the ground. There's another sprite that we need to add and that is subways. Scratch actually has some default sprites. Let's click on choose a sprite. They don't have a subway but they do have a truck. So let's search for truck. And here we go. So you can see it has multiple costumes and that's exactly what we need. So let's click on it. So there goes our truck on the screen. Now we'll probably need to make him make the truck a little bit smaller. So let's set the size to 70 and that's good. Now we also need to position the truck on the screen. Let's drag out when green flag clicked. Go to X 200 and Y minus 50. So when we click on this, our truck should go to the right side and we actually need our truck to be on the ground. So let's drag the truck to the center of the screen and make sure the tires are touching the ground perfectly, like that. And let's copy the Y position, in this case it's minus 73, and let's put it inside of here, so minus 73. Now, when we run this script, our truck should be on the ground. Now we need to start making clones. One easy way to do this, let's go to control, drag out forever, let's wait two seconds, and then let's create a clone of myself. Now we also need to hide the default sprites and when we start as a clone we need to show it. So when I start as a clone then show and let's also make the truck move from the right side of the screen to the left. So let's go to motion and let's make sure our truck is first facing towards the left. Let's drag out point and direction so 90 is facing to the right. Let's make him face backwards by using minus 90. And then we also need to set rotation style left right. Clicking on this script, you'll see our truck is facing now towards the left. And now we also need the truck to move towards the left. Let's go to our control category and drag out repeat until. And we're going to be repeating until our X position is less than minus 300, which is all the way on the left side of the screen. And then after we move to the left side, let's delete this clone. And then we actually need to be changing our X by a negative value. Let's try minus five. Let's click on this script and you'll see our truck is now moving smoothly towards the left side. It goes to the left and then it stops. Now we need the player to have some gravity. Let's go to our player and let's make a variable called Y. Make sure it's for the sprite only. And I'm also going to be deleting this my variable since we won't need it. And I'm going to hide the Y variable. So when the green flag is clicked, we need to set the gravity to zero. And let's drag out a forever loop. Now we're going to be creating three messages. Let's go to events and drag out broadcast message one. Let's click on new message. And we're going to be calling this collisions. Okay, now let's make another one, a new message called collision detection. 
and the last message is going to be called update. So the collisions will run when we need to collide with something, the collision detection will run when we need to detect collisions, and update will run after all of those. When I receive collision detection, let's check if we're touching the truck. So if touching truck, well then if we touch the truck in subway surfers, if you touch a subway, you die. So let's drag out stop all, which is the scratch version of die. And then let's actually run a gravity code. We're going to be using when I receive update. And then inside of here, let's change y by our gravity variable. And let's make a block called physics. And we're going to be checking run without screen refresh. In our physics block, let's drag out change y by minus one. So we'll always be moving down. And then let's detect if we're touching the ground. So let's drag out if touching ground. Now we don't only want to have the player only touching the ground. He's also going to be touching some trucks also. Let's go to operators and drag out this or block. Now we're going to be detecting if we're touching the ground or we're touching the truck. Let's put that back in the if then statement. If we are, let's move out of the ground or the truck. So let's drag out a repeat until, and then let's right click on this or block and press duplicate. And we need to repeat until we are not touching the ground. Then we need to move up out of the ground. So let's change Y by one. And then after we move out of the ground, let's set our Y variable or gravity to zero. Now we need to be able to jump. So let's go to control and drag out if key space pressed, then let's set Y to 10. Let's go back to our update. When I receive update and let's drag out our physics and put it under change Y by Y. Okay, let's test this out. So you'll see a truck spawns when I jump on it, I immediately die. Now in subway surfers, you can run on top of subways and that's what we want to happen in this also. Let's go back to our truck. First, we need to set up something in the costumes. Let's go to our costumes. And the first thing we're going to be doing is moving the trucks a little bit to the left. Let's select our selection tool and select all of our trucks or, and all of the stuff inside of it. Now let's hold down shift on our keyboard and move our truck to the left. And we're going to be moving it to the left until the end of our truck is lined up with the center of the crosshair, just like that. Now let's do that on all of the costumes. So let's select the truck and move it to the left until the box is touching the crosshair. And then the last truck. Boom. Okay, now we need a hitbox. So our hitbox is going to be right here on the front of our truck. Let's right click, press duplicate, and let's rename this costume to hitbox. Let's select the rectangle tool and I'm going to be changing the color to something really bright. We won't be able to see it, but in case we're editing the costumes. So let's draw a hitbox right on the front fender right here. So if the cat touches that hitbox, then we're going to die. Now we don't want the hitbox to have anything else on it. So let's delete the trailer, the wheels, and this front carriage. So now we have our hitbox on the screen. Now we need to switch to the hitbox before the cat detects if it can have gravity on it. Let's go to our code and we're going to be dragging out when I receive collision. Now when we receive collisions, we need to switch costume to hitbox. And then when I receive update, let's switch costume to our truck. So before the cat touches the truck and moves out of it, we'll switch to our hitbox. And after, in our update message, we'll switch back to the regular truck costume. We won't be able to see this because it's running a lot of times a second, about 30. So let's jump onto it again. And there we go. So you'll see, I can jump along the top of the trucks, but if I touch the front, we die. So that's it for episode one of our Subway Surfers series. Make sure to stay tuned for episode two by liking and subscribing.